Hi, it's time for an unboxing video. Well, kind of an unboxing video. But first, there's a story. So what you're looking at is a new tone. According to the box, it says it's a new tone IMA 4406 white. And this was delivered on Friday. And it's something that I actually saw on eBay a week ago or so. I found it amusing and interesting and I sort of pursued it a little bit. So this fellow had this on eBay. He had it listed for sale as an IMA 4406 in white in good unused condition, probably never had been installed. That's what he said. And he had some ungodly amount of money he wanted for it. I see a lot of that kind of stuff on eBay. Oftentimes I actually laugh out loud when I see what people want for things and what people assume about what it is they're selling. And sometimes when it's something that's way, way, way off base, like the description is completely and totally wrong, I actually will send them a message and explain it, you know, what it really is and the ins and outs of it. And so if they choose to correct their information, they can, and maybe it'll keep them out of hot water just a little bit. So the fellow that was selling this, I sent a message to, and I explained what I saw and what my conclusions are based on what I saw and why I think that's right. And actually he was very receptive. After a couple messages back and forth and he thanked me for, for the additional information, I told him now that you know all of this, maybe you'd be interested in an offer on it at a lower price because it's not really what you think it is. He went along with that. I told him how much I was willing to pay for it and he agreed and a week later, here it is. So let's go ahead and unbox it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right. It's always, it is nice when they show up in their original box. We'll open it up here. And one of the things that he talked about, what is this? This is a Panasonic hybrid, advanced hybrid system. Uh, it's probably some kind of telephone thing or something doesn't really have anything to do with the 4406, so that goes in the trash. Anyway, one of the things that led him to believe that this was new and had never been installed was the fact that, put that over there, he said that it still had things taped onto the styrofoam end caps these are, this is the mounting hardware kit. This is the transformer cover. And we got a terminal board here that for all intents and purposes looks like it's never been installed. Also, this is a terminal board from an IMA, not from an IM because the IMs, the board material, this is sort of a light cream color on the IM 4406s. It's more of a medium brown kind of, kind of color. So more like the little sockets right here. So this is obviously original to the box, but not original to what's in the box. So if we take this out, it's in nice shape, I'll give you that. It's clean. It's still very, very white. It's probably just as white as it was on the day it was made. CD door opens, but if we turn it around, oh, telltale signs, how do I know that it's been installed? Well, if you look here, and I've talked about this before. If you look here where the openings are, where the mounting screws go through here and here, they're all dinged up and marked and black from the heads of the screws being tightened down. Not necessarily a bad thing, but it's one of those telltale signs. The other thing that you can tell is, and I guess we should put a rag down here because, oh, excuse me, shop towel, because we don't want to scratch it up somebody cut the ends off the transformer wire so that's a transformer wire and that's a transformer wire red and white pairs and but if this was brand new they would be stripped back and the wire would be tinned and sticking out of the ends of the installation insulation and also in a brand new im 4406 these and this and this came all bundled together and there was a piece of cardboard wrapped around it taped to hold it closed so they would all stay in place and sometimes taped across the back of the insulator but not always so that's another give off it is very clean inside but the biggest tip off to me the thing that i saw immediately when i was looking at the pictures that the guy had posted up on there was that 
it's not an IMA4406 at all. It's actually an IM4406. And I know that without even looking at the label inside the door, which I will show you in a second. But you can tell if no other way, you can tell by the CD player assembly because IM4406s have this big circuit card that sticks perpendicular to the faceplate, sticks way up, and the CD player is right down here underneath its plastic cover to keep the dust out. The other thing that you can see, which makes it easy to know that this is an, has been installed at some time in the past, if we catch it just right, so it's not too glary, this is the top of the AM FM tuner can. And if you look really carefully as I do this, you can wipe the sheetrock dust off. So obviously it's been installed. How long? Who knows? Does it work? Don't know. So what did I tell the guy? What convinced him that I knew what I was talking about? Well, here's what convinced him. And I see this a lot, and I actually had a conversation with somebody on the phone this very morning. It wasn't about a 4406, it was about a 4006. Same basic kind of idea. This has obviously been installed, and it's obviously not the model number that shows up on the box. And just to remind you, it says IMA4406 white, and this is an IM4406 white. In fact, if we look inside the door, this side, you can actually pop this off carefully. If you look in here on the label, you'll see right there, it says IM4406. See, I do know what I'm talking about. All right, so this was the example that I told the fellow who was selling it. Odds are, it was made in 1999, so it was probably installed somewhere mid or late-ish 1999. And so it's sort of towards the tail end of the IM4406s. So it was installed probably in a new house that was being built. Sometime in the future, it had a problem. Now, could be lightning damage, could have been a failed CD player, could be some other kind of problem, not really sure what it is, but it had a problem. And when that problem occurred, the IMA 4406s were still available. And so the owner of the house decided that, well, we want it all to work properly and we're gonna go ahead and buy one of those newfangled IMA 4406s and we'll just swap it out and we'll be good to go. So when they did that, they took out this one, the original one, and they wrapped it up and they put it in the box of the replacement. That's why it says IMA 4406. And it sat in the guy's garage or wherever for a long period of time, then something happened and somehow or another it ended up on eBay and the guy I got it from got it somehow. Maybe it was a garage sale. Maybe it was one of those uh, storage locker auction things. Who knows? I didn't ask. You have to be really careful about what you see and you really have to investigate into it what you're buying because Think how disappointed you would be if you believed everything that the guy had said originally, and I'm sure he's a good-hearted guy, and he was just going on what he thought was the right information, and you thought this was a brand new, in-the-box, never-installed IMA4406, and you paid up big, big money for it, because it was big, big money, way too much in my opinion, and then you get it, and you hook it up, and it doesn't work, or there's something wrong with it, and then you start looking at it more carefully and go, hey, this isn't even what the box says. This is something else altogether. Then there's a big dispute, and then you file a chargeback on eBay, and then the guy's gotta take it back, and there's a big hassle, and it's better to know what you're getting into. That was sort of the backstory of this particular unit. I was willing to roll the dice and take a chance on it for the amount I paid for it, because it has some usefulness to us. Let's go ahead and hook it up and see if it actually works or not. So I've got it hooked up to my two bench power supplies. They take the place of Newtone 801T transformers. I've got it hooked up to a sort of a makeshift antenna right now. And let's go ahead and fire it up and see what happens. See if there's smoke and flames and they'll be running and screaming or whether it just turns on. Ah, that's a good sign. When you power up a 4406 and you get that sort of half volume beat tone, that's usually a good sign. And here we have flashing one o'clock. So can we set the clock? Let's see, it's actually 2.16 in the afternoon. We always go one minute ahead. All right, so we can set the clock. That's a good sign. Uh, you can also tell it's been installed because someone took the time to label the room control switches. We have 
MB, SB, MB, master bedroom probably, L, O, and basement, BAS, I would guess. So let's go ahead and see if we can play the radio. We have static. And if we Dark stand. Dark side of love. Up next, galactic. Oh, the text goes on to tell us Jacob and his twelve. Trying to reduce the spread of germs around here. Yeah, but I usually do. I'm gonna be. Uh. AM is going to be really bad because AM is really bad with the LED lights on. So let's turn the LED lights off. It's going to be harder to see, but we don't want all the static. It's still really bad here right now. We'll jump way up to 70. All right, radio seems to work. That's pretty good. Now, let's see if the CD player works. I'm gonna guess it doesn't. Pop this in here. Ah, no disco round. This doesn't spin. All right, so let's do one thing here real quick. We'll move the sled just a tad. And then we'll try it again. It does spin by hand, see? No, does not play. So, that is most likely the problem. However, we know the radio works, but does the intercom work? Well, let's get out a little test setup and see if we got any intercom functions. I got it set up on a little test jig. Got a terminal board back here it's plugged into. I've got one inside remote station. I've got one door speaker over there where you can't see it. And let's go ahead, we'll start with the simple stuff. Let's see if door inside patio talk works. Turn this up. Yes, it does. Door talk. That works also. How about from the master, door talk. Yes. Inside patio. Yes. Let's see if we can monitor. Number two. Yes. Master. Yes. That's good. Do the remote radio control functions work? Let's see if we can turn the radio on. Yes. Can we scroll through our presets? Technically not social. works. How about a chime module? Does the chime module input work? Well, let's find out. This is my shop testing chime module. This is an early, early Newtone chime module. It's an IA28, probably from 1984 or 5 maybe. It's a real early one. If you plug it in down here, like that, it works. Input works. We're not worried about the chime module, whether it works. These are very robust, but these early ones like this, this is sort of an early design. Nobody really wants these. They have a different sort of tonal quality than later ones, so it's a good test unit. So that works. What's the end shot of all of this? Where did we end it up? We ended up with a really, really nice IM4406. Got a little paint on it right there, but not too bad. It'll clean up. A really nice IM4406. Intercom works, door chime works, radio works. You can set all the settings on it. The only thing that doesn't work apparently is a CD player. That's not a big surprise, but that's one of the reasons I bought it. In a series of upcoming videos, I think we have a new idea how to fix the CD players in the original IM4406s. Not the IMAs. That's a whole different animal. The IMs, 
maybe. We'll just have to wait and see. I hope you found this interesting and perhaps for someone it will be helpful. If it is, give it a thumbs up on YouTube because that helps us just a little bit. There'll be a banner right here that shows you how to subscribe. Go to our YouTube homepage, click on the bell, and when you click on the bell, click on it to receive all notifications. And every time we post a new video, you'll get a notification and you can watch it. That's all for today. See you on the next video.